In 1834, John Scott Russell was carrying experiments on the most efficient design of canal boats. He was using the Union Canal. He was following a narrow boat being hauled by two horses. He was on horseback. Suddenly, the canal boat stopped. He noticed that the bow wave continued. Intrigued, he followed it. He followed it for over a mile. He noticed it carried on at the same speed and the same height. He eventually lost it in the windings of the canal further along. He named this phenomenon a wave of translation, a great solitary wave. We now know it as a soliton. He carried out various experiments and found out that it depended upon its size and the width and depth of the canal. Also, that when two come together, they do not merge, they continue on entirely separately. This seemed to be against the laws of hydrodynamics, as had been worked out by Sir Isaac Newton. A soliton is defined as a self-reinforcing wave that is strongly stable, retains its shape whilst moving freely at a constant speed, and recovers its shape after collision with other solitons. Scientific principles behind a soliton wave weren't understood until the 1870s. After it was largely forgotten, over the 1960s it was rediscovered and the principles were applied to fibre optic technology.